Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into the energy for Cancer and then we'll get into the energy of all 12 signs. So with that, Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits, and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Cancer, please. Oh, Cancer, you got a soulmate. The emperor is your soulmate. Okay, so let's get into the energy of all 12 signs around Cancer, starting with Aries. There's deception around you if you're dealing with an Aries. If you're dealing with a um, Taurus, um, there is a queen of swords. There's somebody being very strategic, not showing emotion about a relationship, kind of cold uh, about the relationship. So um, this could be, this could be Taurus's energy towards you, kind of cold towards the relationship. I, I'm going back to the Aries. Um, so this could be a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio, but there's deception with a queen of cups. Uh, with Aries. So if you're dealing now with a Gemini, Gemini is d unhappy and they're not speaking. If you're dealing with another Cancer, someone's either missing the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or there's some regrets around the King of Swords. If you're dealing with a Leo, Someone's looking back at the past mistakes of being left out in the cold. So they're, they're looking back at past mistakes, but they're out in the cold doing that. If you're dealing with a Virgo, Virgo's coming in, Virgo is coming in as himself, King of Pentacles, and he's at a crossroads. I want to see what he's at a crossroads about. Trying to find some balance, trying to find some peace. If you're dealing with a Libra, there's an ending here. Um, there's emotional communication about an ending or a transformation. You're dealing with a Scorpio. I feel like there's no equal give and take in a new passionate beginning. So uh, with this person, you know, it's one-sided. So it could be like a one-night stand. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, there's a passionate communication about reconciling or about somebody's wish for happiness. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, so I feel like their happiness is that whatever has been illuminated is causing a tower moment. So this could be happiness and success is causing a tower moment. Not all towers are bad. So, uh, you know, good for Capricorn. I feel like if their happiness and success is causing a tower moment for them, then let that, let that tower fall. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, Someone has options and something long-term and committed. This could be someone daydreaming about something long-term and committed, or this could be that there are other people involved in um, something long-term and committed. But take it out resonates with you. It can be somebody's daydreaming about something long-term and committed. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, Pisces is walking away from a family situation. Under the bottom of the deck, you have the Two of Cups. So you have a soulmate who would be your two of cups here, emperor energy for you, Cancer. So let's get into this and see who this is and what's going on with this, this emperor. Give me some clarity and guidance for Cancer. Okay. Cancer, are you standing your ground or blocking somebody? You're looking at something from a different perspective and you're not saying anything about it because it has to do with deception. Not speaking, using your intuition has to do with deception. So standing your ground, fighting. I feel like someone sees, has saw something. You know, there's that light bulb moment right there. And you're looking at something from a different perspective, why you stood your ground, why you fought so hard because of deception. Feeling very trapped in your head. Queen of Cups, there you are. This is about you, Cancer. This is about you. Feminine energy could be a masculine. It's coming in as a feminine, though. Um, somebody's watching you, and they're very unhappy. 
because they see you taking that leap of faith to have a victory and move on. They're at a crossroads about working on something. I don't know if you want to work on it. There, are there, King of Pentacles popping back up in your reading. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. For a long time. This has been going on for a long time. Someone's making a decision to cut something out. So whatever this option is, or illusion, whatever this is, it's ending with somebody feeling very trapped in their head. So an option's ending and feeling very trapped in their head. So let's get into the reading. All that's on the board here as far as uh, you have a you have the Queen of Cups and you have the King of Pentacles. So I feel like someone may have blocked you and not spoke to you, right? And because of deception, you saw something, you saw through it, you saw through the BS. That's why you're not speaking or they're not speaking because of their own deception. And they can't get you out of their head, Cancer. They just can't get you out of their head. Or you can't get them out of your their, your head. But I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling like they may have blocked you uh, because you saw something from a different perspective. You, you saw through the BS, right? Not speaking because of deception, feeling very trapped in their head about the Queen of Cups. So they've got their eye on you. They're watching you and they're unhappy and they want a victory. They want to take that leap of faith to work on the situation, but they're still at a crossroads on how to do it. Under the bottom of the deck, I see an empress here. So you are definitely the whole enchilada cancer. You have a king of, of, of pentacles. And this has been a long time coming for someone to make a decision to cut something out. And I feel like there's an option that ends with someone very anxious. So let's see what's going on. Why are we blocked here? Why are we blocked? The blocked and not sp See, this person may have blocked you and stopped speaking to you entirely, right? And you saw something from a different perspective that they were in a relationship already. And this is why you're, but they're trapped in their head, not speaking. So whatever transpired between you and this person, they can't get you out of their head. And the fact that they're not talking to you is really getting to this person because deception, divine timing was at play. This was meant to happen, guys. This deception that you went through with this person was meant to happen. Whatever the lesson was, it might not have been your lesson. It may have been this other person's lesson. It may have been a king of pentacles lesson right? Sometimes we um, are used as a tool to raise somebody else up or ha somebody has to go through something else because of it. But, you know, even the painful things that we go through sometimes aren't our lessons. They may be other people's, but take it out resonates with you. Because I, you have, you have the, the eight of swords here twice. You have the, um, High priestess here twice. So definitely not speaking. And someone's definitely stuck and bound in their own head about this. And they want to move forward. This person may travel for a living. Queen of Cups energy. They're manifesting you, Cancer. They want you back. They're watching you. They're watching the Queen of Cups. You can't make that up. You, you can't make that up. They're unhappy. They're discontent because you're an empress. So they, they, this has been a story for cancer for a very long time. And I keep going back to this King of Pentacles every single time. This is the story. They left an empress for a karmic. They did. And this was a lesson for this person to learn, not you, cancer. I feel like you were, you were there for a reason, but you're still, this is you, cancer. You're sitting pretty. You know, you've already learned your lessons and you already know what you know. And you know your value, first of all. And uh, they want a victory here because um, I feel like they want to come in and they want to win at all costs. This person wants to win at all costs and have a victory. They want you back, right? They want to take that leap of faith, but they're afraid. I feel like they're guarded. They're defensive. They're, they're that wounded warrior. They have won. They've been through a battle. They have been through a battle and they, they, it has changed this person right? And they want to work on, they want to work on this for a long time. They've wanted to work on this and they're still at a crossroads about telling you the truth. You have this King of Pentacles for a long time needing to make a head over heart decision to cut something out, right? 
he's still holding on to a queen of swords. Someone who's strategic, not showing emotion, but he's not happy. Right? And the tower is going to fall. So whoever he's with, this karmic that he's with, he's still holding on to this queen of swords, or this queen of swords is still holding on to him. Uh, and he's unhappy, and this tower is about to fall. So the options, the options end with somebody being very trapped in their head, sleepless nights, wanting to take that leap of faith to heal, to have a new beginning in love. Because right now this person's broken hearted, right? He did have a choice between two and he needed to make a decision to cut something out. There will be an emotional communication and an apology coming towards you, Cancer. So has this person finally got off his butt and did, is going to do something to come towards you? And if so, when they do, how are you going to respond? Because sometimes with cancer, once we walk away, we're done. So, and there's no getting back across that line. I mean, you, you, you blew it, but faith is at play. They're saying have faith, wisdom, and truth. So I feel like this, I feel like you, the divine is saying to you that the truth is going to come out in a situation. So have faith in this situation. You know what you know. Under the bottom of the deck, enchantment. This person, I left one, one card behind, so you're going to get this one too, Cancer, listening. They want you to give them the opportunity to hear them out, okay? Divine is wanting you to. They're enchanted by you, Cancer. They really are obsessed with you. Um, even though they have been in a relationship with someone else for some time now, this person's coming back to see what they can have with you. Not everybody's going to want this person back. I promise you that. I want to feel that way again. This person felt a certain kind of way with you. Your presence really, really got to this person, right? Finding out the truth crushed you. I feel like this is your energy, Cancer. Um, I love you unconditionally. This person does have a, um, a lot of love for you. Uh, under the bottom of the deck, I regret lying to you. I regret lying to you. So this person really does regret what they did. They do have a lot of deep feelings for you. They want to feel that way again. But you finding out what was really going on really broke your heart. So let's see. What do we have for cancer? So transcending wisdom again, okay, and expansion. So I feel like whatever this is, I feel like this is about this other person. This other person, this king of pentacles, I feel like he transcended. He raised himself a, up a level, right? Um, he's thinking a lot about this. He's he's learned a lot in this situation, expanding uh, expanding and learning. I feel like this person has come full circle in a, in a situation. Uh, they know, they know now, right. And acceptance, understanding things clearly. So, um, happiness, this person definitely wants to come towards you with happiness and leadership would be the emperor for me. So I feel like this is that relationship with that emperor. So guys, that's all I have for you. If this resonates, I think I'm going to take this to Vimeo and get you an extended. So if this resonates, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you over in Vimeo for the extended.